Hello there, this is Glenn Berry from Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. These are my SQL Server 2019 diagnostic information queries. This is the August 2020 version, and you can get these from my website, which is glennsqlperformance.com slash resources. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So I've got a lot of documentation at the top of this script, and then if I scroll down just a little bit, we have the very first query that we're going to run that's just double checking to make sure you're running the right version of SQL Server for these queries. So when I run this, it comes back and says, yes, I've got the correct major version. So that's what I want to see. Going back to this, we'll go and run the very first query in this set. And the way these diagnostic queries are structured is that each query has a short description of what it does, and then a query number, and then the name of the query. And then this is the actual query right here, and then there's six dashes after it, and that way you know for sure that that's the end of the query. And that's there for some automated tools that parse these queries. So when I highlight this first query and run it, it comes back and tells me the name of my server, and then it gives me the very detailed information about the SQL Server version and addition and build, and it also shows what operating system I'm running on. This is very useful information to know in real life. So if we go back to the editor, I've got a few comments here that help you interpret those results. So for example, we know that we're on CU6, and CU6 was released on August 4th, 2020. And then I actually have a link to the knowledge base article where you could go and download that and read about all the fixes that are in CU6. So that's the first query in the set. And if we scroll down a little bit more in my query, we've got a lot of documentation links for things like SQL Server 2019 build versions and a blog post that I like to maintain that shows some of the more important fixes in CU builds and a, a number of other useful things. So let's go ahead and go down to the second query. And the second query is going to go and look at the SQL Server error log to try to figure out what's going on with our SQL Server licensing. And when I run this query, it comes back and tells me that I've got one socket with 16 cores per socket and 32 logical processors per socket. And then SQL Server is using all 32 logical processors in the system. And that's what you want to see. But where this sometimes is a problem is if you're running SQL Server Standard Edition and you have more cores than you're allowed to use with Standard Edition. So this would point that out to you. Also, if you're running Enterprise Edition and you have some sort of grandfathered legacy licensing where you're using more cores than you're allowed to, this would show up here. So it's a very useful query. All right, so we're gonna run one more query in this set. And this one is called server properties. And this calls the server property function multiple times with different input parameters, and then tells us a bunch of useful information about your instance. I can see my machine name is freedom9, and the server name is freedom9, so I don't have a named instance. It's not clustered, it's developer edition, it's RTM with CU6, and here's the exact build number right there. And if we scroll over to the right, we see a little bit more useful information. We can see what our collation is, what our process ID is. If you had multiple instances of SQL Server running, that's useful. Then it tells us things about what's going on with always on availability groups, and it shows us our instance default data path and our instance default log path. And then it tells us what version of CLR we're running. So that's a lot of useful information you get from this query. Now we have covered the first three diagnostic queries in this set and we'll continue in subsequent videos. This is Glenn Berry and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content like this. Thanks for watching.